New concerns popping up over the soon to be legalized cannabis industry in Illinois. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Courtney Bryant. I'm Steve Savard. New Year's Day. Anyone 21 or older will be able to buy marijuana, but police say there are concerns about how to keep roads safe from impaired drivers. News 4's Alexis Zotos is investigating tonight live from East St. Louis. Steve Courtney, there are a lot of tools that law enforcement have to keep our roadways safe from drunk drivers, but we still see DUIs. And as we get closer to January 1st, when marijuana will be legal for recreational use, police are asking themselves, how are they going to stop drugged drivers? Across, it's at the intersection of Jefferson and Brickyard Road near Mascuda with yellow flowers and the name Caroline Elizabeth Tinsley. In May, police say 19-year-old Timothy Junius ran a stop sign and hit another car here, injuring the man and woman inside. The woman was seven months pregnant. Her baby Caroline died at the hospital. And police say Timothy Junius was high on marijuana. It's so hard to put into words the loss of a child. Deborah Nazari knows the pain. Her child's cross sits at Highway 161 in Shiloh Station Road. Somebody had turned in front of him. And then later we were informed that they were likely under the influence. Her son Douglas died in April 2016. He loved hunting, fishing, all of it. The woman who hit and killed Douglas pled guilty this month to reckless homicide and aggravated DUI. In Illinois, it's a crime to drink and drive with a blood alcohol limit over 0.08. Police have tools to test drivers immediately, but with marijuana? We don't have that with cannabis. Uh, we're kind of stuck with observations on scene uh, by our own experience uh, with seeing people and then it's it's up to a blood and urine draw. St. Clair County charged the driver in the case in Mascuda with aggravated DUI four months after the crash as they waited for toxicology to come back. But there's a worry of what January 1st will bring once recreational marijuana is legal. With alcohol there's going to be those that abuse it or try to think they can drive while under the influence. Uh, it's going to be an interesting scenario to see how this plays out. Some departments, including the Illinois State Police, are researching a saliva-based testing used by other states, which could be used roadside to test drivers under the influence of pot or even opioids. In our culture, it's just, uh, well, I'm not that drunk. I'm not that inebriated. Any amount of a substance in, in your system can affect your ability to drive. Part of the bill passed here in Illinois does create funding for a DUI task force for Illinois State Police. I did ask the St. Clair County Sheriff's Department whether they saw an increase of drugged drivers on the roadways following the legalization of medical marijuana back in 2014. They said that was not something that they saw. Reporting live, Alexis Zotos, News 4.